deed over to an investor or end buyer. Chapter 1. Leads to Deed 1. Finding a lead to a deed for sale is the most difficult part of this process. Usually, people find deeds through relatives or friends that are having a financial hardship or are facing foreclosure with their banks. If you don't know of anyone that is in a similar situation, then this will be the most challenging part of the deed flip process. Here are a few strategies you can use to find leads to deeds. First, you can go to MyHouseGramForeclosures.com and become a member to receive all of the detailed information on foreclosure properties in your area. In your search, the most important part is to look for the owner's name and possible contact information like phone number, email, or even a relative or tenant of the owner to discuss buying the property. Strategy number one. The old school way is to knock on the door and tell the owner that you're interested in purchasing the property. Strategy number two. Leave a handwritten letter at the door with your contact information and explaining your interest of buying the property. Make sure you put in all cash. This usually interests the seller because they know you're an investor and you're not going to be waiting on financing because that can be a longer process. Strategy number three. Using social network sites like Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter can be really effective. You can post an ad saying you are willing to pay a finder's fee to anybody that can bring you a person they know that's in foreclosure and wants to sell their property. Everybody is trying to make a dollar, so depending on how much of a finder's fee you're willing to pay, the greater your chances are at finding a lead. Strategy number four. After looking up all the foreclosures on MyHouseGramForeclosures.com, Write down all the properties that interest you and create a mailing list with all of the property addresses you would like to buy. Type out a letter explaining your interest in buying the property with all your contact info and mail it to all the properties you have on your list. Logging in the lead. After you found a lead, it's time to start the negotiation process and locking in the deal with the owner. You want to tell them that you're interested in buying the ownership, deed, of the property and with their cooperation, you will negotiate a short payoff settlement with their bank. Title Search Researching the property for liens, violations, and judgments Very important! Make sure you do your research on the property and the owner to see if there are any unpaid liens beside the mortgage note and judgments against the owner that will prevent you from selling the property in the future. You can request this information by doing a title search with a title company. The search will run you from $350 to $550, but it can save you thousands of dollars in the long run. For example, say you bought a deed for $20,000 and you didn't run the title search to check for liens and judgments against the property or the owner, and all of a sudden, when you're about to flip the property over to an end buyer, they do a title search before they purchase it from you and they see a judgment or lien for $500,000 that hasn't been settled yet. You won't be able to sell that property until the lien is settled and removed with the county court clerk on record. Now you lost $20,000 and are stuck with the property because you failed to do a $500 title search in the beginning. How much should you offer an owner for their deed? Depending on the location, how much the owner owes the bank and if it's already short sale approved, I will start at a $5,000 up to a $30,000 offer to purchase a deed. After you purchase the deed, you may have to negotiate a settlement with the bank of the previous owner by doing a short sale because the mortgage that's delinquent is still in their name and on the property as a lien. That means you can't flip that property to an end buyer until all liens are removed or settled. Now you have to get a commitment from the previous owner by having them sign a cooperation agreement to cooperate with the short sale process. What is a short sale? A short sale is a sale of real estate in which the proceeds from selling the property will fall short of the balance of debt secured by liens against the property. The property owner cannot afford to repay the lien's full amounts. The lien holders agree to release their lien on the real estate and accept less than the amount owed on the debt. 1. Any unpaid balance owed to the creditors is known as a deficiency. 2. 3. Short sale agreements do not necessarily release borrowers from their obligations to repay any deficiencies of the loans unless specifically agreed to between the parties. That means some banks may want the owner to sign a promissory agreement to repay the money that they took a short on in installment monthly plans. As an investor, this doesn't affect you. This is the previous owner's problem that may occur after the short sale is settled and paid. 
I suggest you hire MyHouseGram.com to negotiate your short sales for all your deals. Or you can register for our deed flipping and short sale workshops so you can learn how to do it yourself and make big profits. Our enrollment workshop classes start at $999 a person. Once you get your short sale approved, it's time to make money. First, you would want to look for an end buyer and you have two great options. The first is an all-cash investor. Selling the property to an all-cash investor is the quickest way to flip a property, and that's because they're not seeking getting financing from a bank, which can take months. You can make a flip in a week or a couple of days if you did all the footwork already, such as having a short sale approval and a clean title with judgments, serious violations, or liens besides the mortgage owed that will be paid off after the all-cash investor buys the property from you. Here's an example of how you will profit off the flip. Say you bought a deed for $10,000 from a person in foreclosure. After you buy it, you give them 30 days to move so the property can be vacant because most investors would rather see it unoccupied. The previous owner owed the bank $300,000 and you then get it short sale approved with the previous owner's bank for $200,000. Now your total payoff will be $210,000, but the property is worth $500,000, giving you an equity spread of $290,000 to play with. Now you can find an all-cash investor and say you are selling this property for $270,000, which you will be making $60,000 cash if you subtract your payoff of $210,000. You can make more, but if the property needs a gut renovation, the investor might have to put in $100,000 to fix it up. On top of that, he has to sell it and make a profit. So you want to leave room for the investor because that's when the deal is more attractive. As long as you can double your money, then that's a success. In this situation, you're doing more than doubling. Your investment was $10,000 and you came out with $60,000. Reminder, sometimes the bank has a 90-day restriction on selling the property when they give short sale approvals. So what this means is that you have to own the property for at least 90 days before you can sell it. Another reminder, it's always good to buy deeds in an LLC or any other form of business to protect your personal name from tenant or any violation issues that may occur. If you need assistance forming a business, please call myhousegram.com at 866-721-1867 or email us at myhousegram at gmail.com. Now, selling over to a retail end buyer that's getting financing can be a little more difficult, but the process is the same. This retail end buyer bank may have guidelines, especially if it's an FHA loan they're getting to purchase this property. The bank also has the same 90-day restriction guideline. On top of that, they want two appraisals to be ordered. Even though this is a little more challenging, it's the most profitable. Let's use the last example, but change it up a little bit so you can get a good understanding. Now you paid $10,000 for the deed and got the short sale approved at $200,000. The previous owner owed the bank $300,000, but the property is worth $500,000. If the property doesn't need a gut renovation and it's very modern and livable, this means that there's no work to be done which puts more money in your pocket and saves you time instead of having consideration for an investor's pocket to flip over to make sure he makes a profit. You can now flip over the property to your retail end buyer for $400,000 and make a profit of $190,000. This is after you pay off the $200,000 for the short sale approval and the $10,000 you purchased the deed for, and you still left $100,000 in equity to the retail end buyer for him to sell or just have extra room. For more information or to enroll in our deed flipping program, contact us at myhousegram at gmail.com or call 1-800-470-9049. Or you can get our $500 on-the-go deed workshop package that self-educates you on how to do these deals. We really suggest you take our classes to get even more tips and tricks to the trade for a faster and smoother execution on your deal. If you just want to hire us to do your deals, then you can. Our consultant fee is $6,000 and we give a term of one year to flip your deed. For more information, contact us by phone or email. Thank you for watching our video tutorial and I hope this was very informative enough to get you started. Keep God first and stay blessed.